welcome in, a welcome back. It's a monkey mar. Before we get into today's video updates, please make sure you click that subscribe button, the bell for notifications, and of course the like. And with that, let's uh, get into it. All right, the first update I have, I want to touch on Stephanie Hollinsworth who was missing from the Belle Isle, Florida area, which is outside of Orlando. Okay, so when I started this video, Stephanie Hollinsworth had not been found. I actually had to go out of town for a couple of days, so I've been busy. And I'm a one-man show. I don't have any nosy detectives that help me, send me, give me things. I just kind of go with the flow. So we know Stephanie Hollinsworth was found. But before she was found, a private investigator wanted to use satellite imagery to help find clues in her disappearance. But what I don't understand is why did it take them so long to put drones up in the area? I also got a comment that I am going to touch on after this next article that I read regarding finding her car. And I also want to go on a little road trip and see leaving the Walmart area which way her house was and where she was found because I don't think a woman that is in the store buying a bottle of vodka during a COVID-19 outbreak wearing a mask is going to drive her car into a retention pond my opinion do I think the husband did it I don't know do I think somebody might have ran her off the road accidental maybe but do i think that she drove her car into a retention pond absolutely not so with that guys let's get into this article okay so we know most of us know most of us who's followed the story of stephanie hollandsworth her body found in submerged car identified as missing florida mom missing since september 25th of 2020 it is october why did they wait three weeks to use drones? Okay, so the body pulled from a car in Florida Pond has been identified as the missing mom who vanished while doing errands, authorities said. Hollinsworth, of 50, has been identified by the medical examiner's office as the victim inside a Chevy Tahoe, which was discovered Saturday, submerged in Bell Island. No further details have been released about their circumstances surrounding her death. So this just goes in that she was missing September 25th. The police searching with a drone Saturday spotted her vehicle. Why did it take so long to use drones? So Hollingsworth family said in a statement that they are heartbroken over the tragic end to her case. WESH reported. Stephanie was loved by her family and married to her soulmate, the statement said. Together, they were raising three strong, well-rounded boys. They are all heartbroken. The finding of Stephanie Hollinsworth has now brought closure to the family. Hmm. So, let's go take a ride from Walmart and head over to where... The area they found her car submerged in that retention pond and it is it is absolutely a horrible end but I do not think that she said I'm gonna go to the store leave my cell phone home buy some vodka I'm gonna wear my mask so that I don't catch COVID unless it was mandatory but if you were just hey Maybe she needed to get super drunk to do what she did and drive her car into a retention pond. I don't know. I just don't feel that she purposely drove her car into a retention pond. It's my opinion. It's how I feel. But of course, I want you guys to drop your comments below and let's take this road trip. Okay, let's put this in perspective. She lives right around here. I'm not going to get the house number on Monet right here. So we've got all of this bodies of water around her. She's got Little Lake Conway, Lake Conway. Got water over here, water over here. You know, bigger areas of water. 
got some retention ponds through here. You know, down through here we've got where is Lake Nona? I think it's right about here. Okay. So you got Lake Nona, you've got Black Lake, you've got the lake in with all of this water. But no. She left her house. She drove to the Walmart, which is right here. She left Walmart and she, instead of going back this way, back home, over here through this waterway, she drove probably down to 15th, which is Narcusi, I'm pretty sure. They said that when she left the Walmart, she was the car was seen going. Okay, that's South Goldenrod. And that's where the Walmart is off Goldenrod. Regardless, she drove all the way out here to Storytime Drive in Dowden Road. And the only area of water, I see two ponds. Retention Pond here a retention pond here. So let's go down and have a look at this retention pond. So we have a little area right here with two poles look like it's down. I wonder if anybody it lives close to this area maybe back here in this apartment complex they can run over and um, get a picture for me because I do wonder what is set here on the other end of the retention pond unless of course she drove through this residential neighborhood and went through somebody's yard but I don't think so there is no opening I don't know if it's changed this is a 2020 street view but here no opening unless she went I I don't see it and then we've got the retention pond down here on the left probably going on to the beeline highway but right after this fence line there is an opening And then the other retention pond is down back here on the left. So I don't know guys. All the way down to Storytime Drive and Dowden Road and drive into a retention pond. I don't know. It's, it's just not... My brain is not registering that. Guys, drop your comments. Definitely I want to hear what you think. And let me touch on this lovely comment from somebody who watched the last video I did on Stephanie Hollandsworth. Alright, I'm going to block out this person's name. She's been gone since September 25th, 2020. I'd speak in the past too. Jeez, I'm sick of all you YouTube geniuses accusing everyone of murder. First of all, I never accused anyone of murder. Then she says, this was most probably a suicide. Okay, if you believe that, then that is your opinion. I do not believe it was a suicide. If you want to cover a murder case, there's one in Colorado that needs solved. Well, I can't solve the Suzanne Morphew case. I follow it, but I am not going to run on every single thing that Barry says and sells and does. And No, I'm waiting for something to happen. So my response was, thanks for the advice, and I did not accuse anyone of murder. I think this case is bizarre. I think it's weird, and I think something is definitely out of place in my opinion. So if you don't like my opinion on what I think, then there are like 
millions of other YouTube creators that probably think like she just got drunk and drove her car into the retention pond because she was tired of her life and she was going to leave her three kids and no note or anything. I am not buying it. All right, guys, let's get into the next story of Erica Lloyd, the mom missing from Walnut Creek, California, who went to Joshua's Landing to go camping alone for the weekend. So let's go and see what that's all about. There are so many conflicting stories back and forth in this one that I'm not even sure if I believe the police investigators anymore at this point. So let's get into that story. And like I said, these are very, very small articles. So California mom, which is Erica Lloyd, goes missing on solo pandemic road trip to Joshua Tree. First it was she was going alone, then she was going to meet some friends, then her car was vandalized in the park, her car was found outside the park, the camera sees her leaving the park, um, and then there was no camping gear found, and then in another article there was camping gear found. Like I'm not even sure who knows what's going on, who knows the truth and what they're saying, but a man a while back said that he actually saw her sitting on a bench and let me go back real quick and find that article because I did not share it after I read this so Erica Lloyd's family has search parties who are looking for the young California mother who has been missing for more than three months her car was found vandalized on the side of the road after she left on a solo road trip to Joshua Tree her best friend, Rebecca, and sister-in-law, Jenna, are now speaking out in the hope of finding answers to what happened to the missing mom. If you have any information on what might have happened to Erica Lloyd, please call the San Bernardino Sheriff's Department, and I am going to drop that link below in the description. But let me read you real quick what this man said and who he claims that he actually saw her sitting on a bench okay this article is the one that i am speaking of and it says why no one has heard from lloyd martin cox who owns a home in the desert says he saw a woman matching her description at a rest stop west of the national park three days after she was reported missing. It was kind of odd, Cox tells people. She's just staring off toward the west. She didn't have a purse or any luggage. There was no one around and she wasn't marked up. No bruises, no scratches. Well, how close were you to see if she had no bruises or no scratches? And I wonder what area this bus stop was in well not bus stop excuse me I wonder what area the rest stop was in west of the National Park I'm going to maybe have to look in and see about this area and maybe who Martin Cox is but it is probably a nothing all right all right guys RIP Stephanie Hollinsworth and it has what a, it's just a horrible ending and let's keep Erica Lloyd's picture out there her story out there I really wish her family would contact profiling evil I'm going to drop their link in the description alright guys and with that it is a wrap I want to thank you all for coming in thank you for watching please like or dislike whichever you prefer and subscribe i want to wish you all a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world and stay vigilant and i am out